Good evening, chat. Welcome to the Psychic Stream, where this evening we'll be taking advantage of the poor, helpless, defenseless aliens as we bend them to our will with our minds. Hopefully. Well, we'll see how it goes. That's the plan anyway. Let's turn off the Psychonauts. Make sure everything looks good. Everything looks good. Wow. There's a hundred people in here. That can't be right. All right. So let's switch over to XCOM. And load. Oh, wait. I should probably put the music back on, huh? Oh, that's kind of loud. Okay. There we go. Loading it up. Let's go. I thought of something when I was at work today. And that was that I should build an addition additional psionic laboratories like around so I have more um, places to train psionic people. Should also probably build another living quarters. You know, I'm gonna build two. Because why not? It does, it's no skin off my nose, you know? Also, we might, well, it's gonna depend. Let's wait to see this has 12 days left to go. We should probably build another base, actually. Maybe in Tasmania? Or like this part of Australia? No, this is this is probably good. Oscom? Oh, that looks good. We'll get this one going. Get the general store, a hangar, and then we'll wait for that to finish. All right, that puts us down to a million. I think having a million dollar cushion is probably a good idea, just to be on the safe side. All right, laboratory is done. Research, we can get 50 more guys. Let's go for it. If we, I don't actually know if we can afford that many. We cannot afford that many. Okay, we'll start, we'll get 10. We have anything to sell. Alloys, we probably want to hold on to those. Corpses, we can sell the corpses. We do not want to sell Illyrium. I should really get around to researching alien grenades at some point. And honestly, we can probably start thinking about selling rifles. Don't know how useful those are going to be, but we'll hold off for now. Okay. The new soldier, let's check him out. So how's everybody doing today? It's Wednesday. It's the middle of the week. Just Wednesday, my dudes and all that. This guy's a rifleman. 68, he's almost a sniper level. And I was actually thinking of going through... I guess that we have this opportunity. Let's go through and reorient everybody and see what everybody's good at. So if you're at 70 or above, you are a sniper. If you're, so that like this guy would be a sniper, for example. If you are between 55 and 70, you're a rifleman. And if you're below 55, you're a scout. And then we'll go through again and we'll check to see if there are any, like this is not, you're not a heavy, you're a scout. Gotta get those numbers up, ma'am. Hey, Rillip's here. Rillip says, I deleted your production database today. So Rillip is fired. This is a grenadier. All right, you got throwing accuracy. And if they have throwing above like 75, we'll say they're grenadiers. Although, hmm. it's hard to say. I think Rifleman will take precedence over Grenadier. So this guy is over 55. He can be a Rifleman. Although he's a commander, so let's, we'll just say command. Keep him out of harm's way as best we can. Isn't that, wasn't that something that happened on uh, Toy Story 2? Somebody started deleting the actual, the movie. They had to get the backup from somebody's house. 
Man, that would suck. Heavy. Yeah, heavy. I guess heavy will be a promotion. If you have over 40 strength, then you also get to be, and you're a rifleman, you also get to be a heavy. And that'll just keep everybody a little more split up so I can know who to give the real big guns to. Okay. Okay, perfect. So you're a heavy. Uh, heavy. Although you're a colonel, you're probably more of a commander, but we'll we'll worry about that later. Okay. It's colonel, you're also O. Commander's the highest one, right? I think we saw that. Rilip says, they had to bring in someone's laptop who happened to be on maternity leave. Yeah, that was for Toy Story 2. Our backups were not deleted. You were able to restore them. Ooh, scary. Glad I'm not in uh, IT stuff. I would not have a good time. Okay. We do have a commander, although... She's a... Uh, she's command. I guess if you're colonel and above, you can be command. Just to... So I, I'll know at a glance to keep you out of harm's way. Probably smart. Okay. So that's everybody. Well. Get going on that research on the Siams, because those are going to be big. Going to be huge. I've got the hair and the beard for IT. I have heard that. The Siam can only be used by soldiers with psionic skill. During combat, click blah, 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 blah. Okay. So now... I'm just going to grab the plasma rifle. And I would like to make... I don't know, let's make ten of them. <laughs> ten of them? That's going to cost a lot of money. Oh, geez. Let's make four of them. And then we'll, we'll think about it uh, as we go here. Sci amp time, that's right, Ripley Jones. We are gonna be psyching out the aliens. Oh, large, you say? Alright, that could be our friend here. Let's send from Asiacom. Oh, it's going this way. We're gonna lose contact. Um, go to last known UFO. Maybe we'll catch it on radar. Yeah, I want to get the plasma rifle going because it's lighter. The issue that I've noticed with the the heavy plasma is it's not great in the hands of... Oh, what is this? The large one. Let's take a look. Oh, it's fast. Oh, geez. All right, it's, it's going. All right, never mind. Do I, I do not have anybody that can use the Psyamp yet. No, but in seven days, we'll have the lab. And then at the end of the month... So we'll finish around the 24th of May. Then we'll put 10 people in there. And then we may or may not have some psychically gifted soldiers. All right. Well, the Psyamps are done. I don't think we need anything else, so we'll just hold off. Okay. Check on the research here. Unknown still for the plasma. Yeah, we're low on fundage here. We may have to go raid that alien base, but I'd rather wait till we have... Seven days. That was there was a show called Seven Days. Oh, oh, hey, down from there. My cat's up on the. Uh, oh, he's playing with a box cutter. That's probably not good for him. For some reason, there's a box cutter on top of my PC. Relip says I would recommend laser weapon research so I can sell it on the black market. I'm not really planning to grab laser weapons for a while. All right, we're going to let the night mission pass here, and then we'll go first thing in the morning. So yeah, grabbing laser weapons is probably a smart idea at some point. I'm not really in a rush, though. Right, let's make sure everybody is geared up. We got a couple of rookies to send out. If one rookie to send out. And we have a cannon, all right. So let's take out our two, three, four sergeants. Go down to the bottom here. 
and we will send in one tank. Thy amps are useless, so we won't be using those yet. We can probably ditch the explosives at this point. I just, I don't know if we're ever going to use them, and we probably only need about two. Actually, hang on. Check. Okay, we have a bunch of scouts who can't... Hmm. Whatever. We'll give them heavy weapons anyway. I don't care. Grab a... We'll grab a couple of rifles. We've got grenades. We've got smoke grenades. We've got proximity grenades. Let's send them out. Send out the Sky Ranger. Rillip says, I would have hated it. Seven days was focused on time travel. They had a time machine, but could only send one person back in time seven days. Like the, uh, the time travel device from Galaxy Quest that could only send you back, what, like 13 seconds? Yeah, the, the I don't mind limits on time travel. Well, it looks like they're planning to set up a base here. All right, so let's send these boys out. Oh, you don't have armor. Crap. Okay, that's not ideal. Not what I wanted to grab. Okay, you're good, 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 good. Everybody else is... Okay, we'll get rid of those. Everybody else should be good. I'm not happy that I did not... Set that up properly. But it's too late now, so we'll just have to live with our decisions. Oh, incoming shots. Okay. Did not take any damage from that, fortunately. Let's go try to flush them out here. There is a floater. And that appears to be it on our radar. Let's send out the boys and the girls. I think we can get one rapid fire shot off here. Nice shot. One hit, one kill. I'm worried about this rookie. I really. It's probably normal to send rookies with no armor, really. It just feels kind of tasteless, though. They're rookies even with armor. Yeah, but them surviving and getting better saves me some amount of money, right? I don't have an. I don't... I guess if they die, then I also lose the armor, right? Kinda sucks. Oh, they're coming in. They're coming from both sides. Shit. Well, there goes that. That's why you're a scout. Alright, one down. And how about this one? Where are you? There you are. Boom. Double shot. Very nice grouping on that. All right, we'll send out Scout Lindbergh. And the rest of these guys. That rookie wants a promotion. Yeah, the squaddy got kind of destroyed, though. And then we have another one we can maybe hit here. We'll see about that. Take a couple of shots. No line of fire because the hill is in the way. Cool. That's not what you want to see. Snapshot looks good. Let's move up with these guys. And... And Rillip, in response to me talking about the Omega-13 from Galaxy Quest, says that sounds pretty gimmicky. Is that a reference to the movie? Do they say it's gimmicky in the movie? Because it is. That's kind of the point. Come on, man. There you go. Hit him hard. All right, rookie man. Prepare yourself. Get in behind the tank. Take these guys with you. We need to remember when we get back, we need to get a, a fresh rookie and we need to get a another combat armor or whatever battle armor, whatever it's called. Oh, that's it. Okay. 
We lost one squatty, which cost us 23 points. But we ended up getting a positive rating, so no big deal. Ooh. The rifleman did got no bonus to accuracy. That sucks. And we lost a squatty. So we'll grab a new soldier. And we'll make a fresh personal armor. Personal armor, that's what it's called. This is what happens. I play the game, I don't even remember what the heck things are called. There we go. All right, get him. Ooh, UFO hit. UFO's going down. Yeah. All right. We'll get that one shortly here. All right. So first things first. We got another rookie. To s oh no, he's still wounded for some reason. Everybody else is a sergeant. Okay. Mm, looks good. Get everybody armored up. You guys get out of that stuff. You don't just get to wear your armor around. Although, if there's going to be base attacks, I suppose maybe it would be smart to have people in their armor at all times. It's going to take four hours to fully refuel. We'll have to wait for the next morning. Also, fun fact, I was basically eating dinner right up until I started the stream. And now there's this cookie over here in these Ziploc bags. Or there is, there are two cookies in a Ziploc bag. And I want to eat one. But I don't want to eat it on stream because that's weird. So I'm just going to wait till after the stream. But when, when Rilip said fresh rookie, it made me think fresh cookie. They are not fresh cookies, sadly. They are from a couple days ago. It'd be cool if they were fresh cookies, though. Okay, we got a bunch of heavy weapon folks. Cool. Oh, like we're on the edge of the map here, so let's try to hit both the axes if we can. Okay, that didn't go where I wanted it. At least it wasn't an explosive grenade. Yeah, right inside the dang Sky Ranger. All right, send out the old the tank, my tank boy. And looks like we have some enemies right nearby. There, it's another floater. So the floaters must be trying to set up a base here, if I had to guess. Rilip says, I haven't eaten yet. I should do that at some point. I'm old enough now. I can't eat late at night. What does that mean exactly? Like you, you shouldn't eat late at night? Or you physically can't because your bones, they're too brittle. They can't handle Taking it. Oh, that UFO is just destroyed. This is probably one of the only aliens on this map. Okay. Send in the boys. Send them in. Let's go. I I think I know what you mean, though. I I don't like eating after like eight o'clock, unless it's like popcorn or something. Ooh, floater. Another floater. All right. A couple of floaters still floating around here. Taking a shot at the tank. Ah, come on. No fair. All right. Well, let's take care of this one first if we can. Nope. Yeah, feel free to hit with one of those. Nice shot. And then this one. Oh, inside too. Okay. That's a little bit scarier. Because we also saw there was one to the south, I think. Nice shots from the heavy plasma there. Yeah, my concern is we're going to go somewhere and we're going to spot it. We're not going to do Oh, there we go. Got eyes on him. Take a shot. You get heartburn, reflux. Oh, okay. Yeah, that'll do it. All right, we got him. We lost one tank. I guess we're uh, we're out of tank for. Oh no, hang on. We just got a bunch of stuff from these. What am I saying? We got a bunch of floater corpses we can sell, and maybe that's it. We can probably sell some of these heavy plasmas. We don't need twenty-seven of them. 
Yeah, a, mil a million credit uh, money is good enough. And we'll buy another tank. I'm actually kind of tempted to get a rocket launcher tank now. Just something that can, I don't know, level the terrain a bit. Let's do that. We can get rid of the cannon one. Because uh, typically we're not going to be using the cannon. And we can sell the rifles. Yeah, eh, we'll get, yeah, we'll get rid of the auto cannon, the rocket launchers. Just to free up a little bit of space here. One tank is best win. Three days until the Psy Lab is complete. Here's hoping we get that. Okay, general stores are done. Can we build a radar? Yes, we can. It cost 800,000 G's, man. They're charging so much for these things. I'm trying to save the world here. Everybody's so stingy. Okay, so what is this guy good at? He is a rifleman. Bog standard rifle person. Let's get the craft swapped out here. Take out a guy, put in a rookie. Get him some personal armor. As foolish as that might seem to some of you. How long has this guy been injured? Jeez. Eight days. Gee, he must have taken a big ol' hit. Congratulations, you're broke. I mean, I guess knowing the world, it would make sense that they're gonna put the minimum amount required to keep aliens from taking over the world. Alright, now if I remember this correctly. No. No. I don't uh you guys know how to do this? Do I have to do it at the start of the month? Diary. No. We've lost 31 soldiers. Oh god. That seems a lot worse than it is. Yeah. Alright, hang on. What do I need to do to make sure they're getting trained up? Hold on, maybe there's a thing in the UFOpedia. Base facility, Sonic Laboratory. Sonic Lab can assess the blah blah blah. Training is allocated at the end of each month. Okay. Got it. Well, then we have to wait till the end of the month, I guess. Large UFO coming in here. Well, let's send in the interceptor. I don't know if we're going to want to... Ah, shoot. Oh, it was a terror site. Damn it. Hold on. We didn't get our tank yet, did we? Nope. Okay, I guess we're sending in four extra guys then. You guys just move to the front of the list. Get ready to go fight some bad dudes. Sending them in. Guy Ranger, go. Please get there before it gets dark. Please get there. Oh, no. The night terror mission chat. Ugh. Okay. All right. This isn't the worst thing that's ever happened. So let's not act like it is. Okay. Did I not bring enough weapons for everybody? This could get awkward. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess if we didn't bring enough for everybody, we could take some away from the command staff because they're not going to be moving. And if they need to move, somebody's died and we need to pick up the, uh, we can just pick up the dead people's weapons, huh? Okay. Yeah, that works. Okay. So first things first, we chuck a couple of smokers. Oh, shit. That's not good. Shh. 
show. Don't like that. Smoke's going out. Plasma, all right. It's okay, one civilian down. Something happened. We fired at something, I don't know what. Okay, that wasn't the worst thing that's ever happened in my life. Okay, we lit up some area. What is this? Oh, it's a chrysalid, shit. I think. Can't quite tell. Well, we'll have to take that out as fast as possible. And uh, we'll chuck out some... That's gonna mean it's snake men. Okay. Yeah, that's a chrysalid. Okay, we'll get him. Okay, well, come on, man. That's just, that's just embarrassing. Move over here. I guess we need to move them down to the end of the ramp before we can shoot the chrysalid, huh? Yeah, snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Don't matter, we got the chrysalid, he's dead. Then we'll spread out to uh, avoid any grenade problems. Okay. And that should be good. Oh, we spotted something. Snake man, dead ahead. Get him. We can hit him from here. A nice, juicy auto shot. Nice shot! Holy crap. Okay, well, still alive, which is not great. I will send one more. I can't commit too many dudes to this assault. Alright, there we go. We got him. And then slide up. Snake. Oh, nice reaction shot. Coming from the left side. Watch out. Oh, okay, there's one down. Yeah, definitely coming from the left. Oh, chrysalid coming in. Two chrysalids coming in. Oh boy. All right. Now the fun can begin. Take out one first. Okay. Two. Nice, nice. Okay, now get this one. Hold on, go this way. Yeah, we spotted the floater at least. Get the zombie out of the way. Kill the chrysalid. Nice, all right. All right, so we're down two, but we're still doing all right. We've gotten two nat, no, three natural chrysalids plus one zombie chrysalid. I just wanna keep track in my mind here. Snake man down. All right, so far so good. Let's move to sort of cover here. All right, let's just wait it out and see where they come from. That's a grenade. That's not great, okay. Another chrysalid. That was a reaction shot, I believe. Nobody died. Everybody's fine, everybody's fine. You guys are great. Okay, let's move up. Just hang in there, guys. You're doing all right. And, okay, so somebody died over here. Get moving, let's see if we can spot them. There we go. No line of fire, the gas pumps in the way, damn it. All right, let's try to hit them from here. Not great. Okay, dead. That's going to blow up. That's fine. All right, time to send in the second team. Take that, XCOM. Hmm, XCOM, it seems you are failing. Not today, Chrysalid Man. Oh, 
There they are. Reaction fire saves the day once again. And a zombie. We spotted a zombie, it seems like. Okay, we can get... Oh, there's a snake man as well. Hang on. What is this? Chrysalid over there? Get him. Damn. Nice shot on the chrysalid. Holy crap. You guys are really coming in clutch here. They're actually hitting the targets and killing them. and Good stuff. Damn. Okay. Gotta move. Alright, you need to come here. Snake man. Take that, snake man. Not today. Alright, you're doing a great job scouting here, buddy. Just keep it up. I should probably send somebody to support, however. So I will. Two commanders in the back with no weapons. They got this. They will get this if they need to. They don't need to get it right now. Snake man down. Beautiful. Nice grouping on the heavy plasma there. And yeah, we have uh, extra weapons to pick up now, so we can actually just do that in a moment. All right. But again, we still have these guys ready to go. Lest we forget. Oh, we got... Oh, zombie spotted. Okay. Hold on. Take care of that zombie here. Should be able to get him? No, the wall's in the way. But now... A column's in the way. Oh, there we go. Now we got him. And this is a sniper, so we should get some good shots on this. Yeah! Take that, chrysalid! Alright, and we'll take our less valuable guy... And he can grab a weapon here. Zoop. Pick that up. That looks good to me. Snake Man Soldier has panicked. Chrysalid coming in. Perfect. This should be a cakewalk now. Let's finish him off. So we lost three guys, I think. Two or three, chat. I guess the mission's not over yet. So let's not count our chickens before they come home to roost. Alright, come on, dude. Mm-hmm. Alright, how about now? No? Okay, alright. Where's my sniper? There he is. He should be able to finish this guy off. Or not. Dude, you you have sniper in your there we go. In your clap wait up this thing is resilient as fuck. Holy crap. Okay, let's try this again. Take the shot. There we go. Alright, so we should now have so there was one death, one dead. And then a zombie. Okay. Yeah, that sounds right. That's three dead, I believe. Which is not terrible for a... Uh... Yeah, the, the chrysalid just shrugged off that plasma. Snake Man Engineer has panicked now. Okay, that's useful. Uh, Somebody became unconscious. Unconscious? Unconscious. That must be him. Because of the smoke, presumably. And now we get to hunt down a panicking snake man. Not my favorite thing to do. We've talked about this in the past. Just trying to finish off that last... Wait, is that him? That's a chrysalid. Okay, that's definitely not what you want to see right next to you. There we go. Just trying to catch that last slippery alien at the end can be really tricky. He 
yeah, one guy is bleeding out, unfortunately. We'll have to try to finish the mission here before he dies. Although that's, again, easier said than done. Okay. Bleeding guy has one more turn. Yeah, we'll see. I guess we can uh, check here. He's got two fatal wounds, so this guy has that. I don't know how much the other guy has. And this this guy is also... Okay, he's good. There's an engineer and a soldier. Shoot. I wish I could, like, see where they are. Yeah, having a medic. I guess now might be the time to start including medics on these these missions here just to have some way to heal if somebody goes down you know so right now we got nothing okay we just have to try to finish okay. oh wait up here maybe it's the only thing that I've seen that had a a hatch door like that switch directions yeah, this is like the edge of the map. I don't see anything over this way. Hmm. The motion scanner might be useful at this point also. I feel like I hardly ever use it though. Like usually if I'm in a position to use it, I'd rather just move. All right, how about here? We've checked here. There was nothing. Okay, good, good, good. You could probably move up here. And so on and so forth. Wait, something happened? Maybe? Nothing happened. Oh wait, there we go. Got one. Don't know which one that was. The oh, another one? There he is. That must be the engineer, because he doesn't have a weapon or anything. If they panic, they drop their weapons, and aliens do not pick up weapons after they drop them. Looks like we got a live one, too. Got him! Alright. Four civilians killed by aliens, three XCOM operatives killed, 120 civilians saved, so that negates. That is a dang good score, I would say. We got a lot of level ups there. Not enough rifles, right, because I, I blew it up. Mm. Yeah, so a couple of rookies, a sergeant with no kills, and a squatty. Not the worst thing that's ever happened. Let's sell some chrysalid corpses, some snakeman corpses. Do they have anything else that I might want to sell? A couple of heavy plasmas we can get rid of. Then we need to get three fresh soldiers, three fresh sets of armor, and I need to pick up some rifles. Yeah, I'll pick up three. See, now I feel stupid for selling them. I didn't even consider the possibility they could get blown up. Oh boy. That's my life, I suppose. And there's our tank, finally. Yeah, we got a couple of wounded guys. I guess we'll have to send in... Captain is below Colonel, right? Gee, what am I doing? Keep you out of here. Well, wait, we're getting three new guys. I guess we'll just throw in the rocket launcher for now. Okay. If we have to send out a... a oh, here we go. Send out the AsiaCom thingy. Let's do this. Get him. UFO crash lands. All right. Another UFO ready to rock. How long until we get a fresh soldier? 56 hours. Ugh. I don't want to wait that long. That's fine. 
Let's equip the craft. This should be a pretty easy one, actually. Because it was a small UFO and it was a crash. So there's probably going to be nothing too crazy going on down there. There we go. The lack of the extra rifle could hurt. But so be it. It is what it is. And we'll wait for morning-ish time. <clears throat> so that was not as bad as it could have been, I would say. We lost three dudes. Let's see, there was the guy got hit with plasma. Guy got zombified. Other guy got hit by plasma as well. Especially for a night mission with chrysalids, that could have been gone way, 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 way worse. Send out the Sky Ranger now, and it should get there just in time for the morning. Yes. Yes, it did. So let's see here. You are a scout. Although I could probably get away with just giving everybody these things. And if you're a grenadier, you get extra grenades. Congratulations. And that's pretty much the only difference at this point. Throw on a smoke grenade. Throw on a smoke grenade. Yeah, let's set that for zero, please. We got floaters, huh? Well, I took care of that. Floater no more. Check that over there quite where I wanted it, but whatever. And let's disembark. Send out the miss. Oh, incoming reaction fire. See what we can see here. But yeah, we got a floater. What an unfortunate name. Floater down. And there's the UFO. We'll pop out and check check the damage. You've, oh, we got a floater on top. Let's get him. Nice hits from the heavy plasma. We'll send the other two or another set of guys forward. Like so. I was going to make uh, med kits, wasn't I? Oh, okay. That was it. Nobody even got hurt. No tanks got blown up either. We got a couple of stats. Nothing too crazy. All right, let's keep on rolling. Should be almost getting this. Oh, yeah, the Scilab's done. What am I saying? At almost the end of the month, we'll be able to set up the training. Okay, fresh soldiers. Let's check them out. So we have a scout. Bad at pretty much everything. We have a very good sniper candidate. And, oh. Okay. All right. Well, you're a rifleman. I guess. I should go through, and if you're a rifleman... I'm gonna, I'm gonna swap out Grenadier. And just say if you have, like, 70... That's not a super useful... I don't know. Like, I don't really use grenades that much. I, I know that they're they're good. They can be really good, but having a dedicated grenadier seems silly. All right, let's make a couple. Oh wait, we didn't research med kits, did we? We. Okay. Hmm. Let's get some scientists. You know, we'll wait till the end of the month so we don't have to pay as much of their salary. Can we siphon some of these guys off, maybe? And get started on some pet projects. Med kit. The plasma rifle clip we can get started on. There's so much stuff, chat. Nobody working on that. Gun bomb, I don't care. Galen grenade would be useful. 
many corpses. Jeez. Laser pistol, I guess, would be a good start. All right. Keep rolling to the end of the month here. And now I believe we have enough we can get rid of this one. And now we have the perfect choke point for the aliens if they try to get into our base. Plasma rifle is done. Let's get onto the clip. Put two to here. I know it's still going to be poor, but whatever. The, the mod that I play, X-Pirates, the research goes a lot faster, but there's a lot more of it. Like, a lot more of it. Okay, let's see which, what the heading is here. It's going that way. Interesting. Oh, now it's coming back. Let's get him back over land. And let's get him. Yeah, we got him. All right. So this will be a perfect opportunity to get some uh, experience for our fresh rookies. So get up there, rooks, and prepare to experience the thrill of your first alien hunt. We're going to shoot him with lasers. We can bring plasma rifles, but we don't have the clips yet. Or we don't have the... Like, they call them clips. I think they would be magazines. Or maybe not. Do we have any, uh, any gun nuts in the chat that know the difference between a clip and a magazine? If I... Going off my half-remembered, it was explained to me. A magazine is like a... Is an object that holds ammunition. And a clip is more of a, it's like a self-contained unit of ammunition that is loaded into a weapon. But it's not something that can be reloaded necessarily. Maybe that's wrong. Right, we need Asiacom. We need to purchase avalanche missiles because we are running low. Yes, I, I did see that that was the case. All right, let us begin the mission chat. So step one. Hmm. Scout should be up in front, but whatever. We'll do it this way. Get rid of that. Get rid of those. Okay. You get one of these. There we go. All right, that's what I was looking for. And then I guess we'll just give everybody a grenade. And maybe we'll have a chance to use it. I don't know. We got a floater here. Let's hit him. Nice. You know, it's their own fault for standing right in the way of the Sky Ranger. When I land, you think they could move and they wouldn't get blown up by my rocket tank. Okay, so it sounded like there was some movement inside the craft. Let's advance. Oh, it's a, okay. It's a medium scout or a large scout or whatever, whatever the size is. Oh, it's like we have some friend. We'll deal with him shortly. Yep, I see him. Get down and auto fire. Let's go. Ah, come on. Went off the armor. Okay. Another batch of rounds here. Nope. Okay, that's fine. We have plenty more where that came from, hopefully. Cast 1066 as a clip is a small device that usually holds no more than 10 rounds that is used to load a larger magazine. Magazines can carry up to 10 or 100 or more rounds, just like the pages in a magazine publication. Well, there you go. That explains it. All right, one floater down. 
So I don't know if their use of clip here is appropriate. Um, maybe not. But it doesn't matter because uh, we still haven't researched it, so we can't actually use the plasma rifles just yet. Just asking to get grenaded here. And thank you for answering the question. It's always nice when you're streaming that uh, if people actually, you know, look things up for you. Because I can't, I'm not going to stop the stream and Google it, you know. Unless it's a Tuesday stream. Google that all day. Oh, we got another friend here. Let us advance. And hit him in the face. Hit him in the side. Give him a snapshot, why not? Nice, lucky hit. Was not expecting that one. Alright, let's check the south side here. Any straggler floaters? Any unflushable individuals? Alright, let's send the scouts up ahead here. And then... Finally, we'll send these two to watch this flank. Beautiful. Okay. I hear movement inside. That is scary. Uh, the UFO looks pretty shot up, chat. I don't know. We're gonna get any good resources out of this or not. I'm guessing the reactor is shot to shit and I guess we'll get a bunch of rifles at the very least. Okay, so yeah, these guys are watching the flanks. These guys will be the breach team here. All right, no movement. Oh, enemy spotted. He's dead? Alright, nice shots there. Rookies, you are going to earn these promotions. If you get them, I guess. Yeah, the reactor's dead. Oh, the uh, navigation is still good, though. There's more. Oh, God. There he is. Open fire. Man, this guy is good. What's your name, son? Kaminsky, sir. Oh, there's more? Jeez, what is this? A clown car UFO? This is ridiculous. Maybe it's somewhere else, though. Really to say. Ah, there he is. Crap. Alright, we're gonna need to send in a backup here. So we want to get to where we can be. Yeah, there we go. Crap. There we go. All right. That should be all of them. If it's not, this truly was a clown car UFO. Okay. There we go. Killed eight aliens. Got some corpses. Got some artifacts. Navigation. Yada yada. And some decent stats. Some extra accuracy for our new rookies. You just copied and pasted. Hey, you know what? That's, that's all I needed. You want to go straight to Wikipedia and get the information? Be my guest. Okay. Let's hydrate here. And it is the end of the month, so let's see what we get. The Council of Funding Nations is very pleased with 2,005 points. We got a million... 1.4 million quiblets. And everybody is happy. Psionic training. Okay, let's go. Let's start with our command staff, of course. Um, sure. Let's go down the list here. And we will see what they end up doing. No Wikipedia? You just, what, you just Googled it? Hey, that works too. Whatever you want to do it. Send in Americom. See what we're dealing with here. Oh, he's fast. Too fast for you. Oh, I could have shot him down over Baja. That would have been great. We'll wait till he gets over the Mojave here. Oh, the Mojave's up here. What is this? This is like the 
Sinaloa Desert, I think. Geography is a little, a little bit rusty in the southwest. No hit, 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 hit. There we go. All right, let's get the response team ready to rock. Good craft. Everybody's got what they need. Uh, Sergeant, squatty, squatty. We do have a rookie we could send in. Let's swap out one of our sergeants here for a rookie. Anybody else? No, I think that's good. Get him in some armor. Let's get going. Send out the Sky Ranger. As I recall, you can only train Psionic once. Um, you can... Uh, not quite. So, you first... The first time they train, it scans them, and then you can see what their Psionic abilities are. And then if you keep them in training, it'll increase their skill, but it can never increase their strength. So the strength is set in stone from the beginning, or per, per the soldier. Okay, just go here. And then we'll do the mission as soon as the sunlight has arrived. Just chill there for a second. Wait till the last bits. There we go. Perfect. Right, you do not need that, I promise you. So we will give you a one of these. Get rid of the grenade in case we come across any ethereals who try to take our minds from us. We're not quite at the level where we can, you know, mind control an ethereal yet, but we're going to get there at some point. All right, we'll start with the smoke grenades, of course. As always, we're in the top corner of the map. So that'll be our cover. And send in the rocket tank. What are we dealing with? Not much that I can see. Ah, there we go. Okay, sectoids. Perfect. Sectoid sounds like a, like something you would call someone on Twitch. Like, oh, you're just a sectoid. Kind of like, um, it's a good example. I don't actually know. I don't know Twitch slang. I need to learn more. I know in Jerma's chat, they call him like a something Andy. That's their, their whatever name for if he does something. There we go. All right, yeah, hit that stupid sectoid. Okay, tank will continue to advance. And we will send out some of the rest of these guys. Do -do -do -do. Snapshot is available. Perfect. And snapshot will be available here as well. All right, and then we want to send not the commander or the colonel or whatever. We want to send... Oh, that was it. Okay. I got all excited for nothing. So there were five, there were six aliens. We killed one of them. The rest died in the crash. I'll take it. We got some throwing for throwing the smoke grenades. And then we got one hit in. So a little bit of level up there. Kind of sad. Shooting down UFOs is not always the way to go. Okay, Shikam has the missiles now. Keep spinning that wheel. Let's go. It's June now, which it, it is in real life, right? No, it's July now. What am I saying? It's still June. That's what I get for being an accountant. I'm always a month behind everybody else. All right, let's, yeah, let's get the med kit going. Oh, I forgot I was going to get uh, some scientists, right? We can get 20 of them. Yeah, now we're talking. Oh, a lot of heavy plasmas. We can sell off a bunch of those. Is now the time to start expanding the base? 
this living quarters. We're still built. We are building a Psy Lab here in North America as well. So it might be worth it to. Hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll just get 10 more soldiers to defend here. Get some extra rifles. And some extra proximity grenades. Perfect. That way, if we go through 10, we can ship the psionically capable ones out and then move some, like, defenders in. And that's what we're going to end up doing. All right, psionic lab is complete. And there are the new, right, their new defense stuff. We have a small one. All right, send them out. Maybe we just send out the Sky Ranger here and see if it'll land. That'd be pretty cool. Mm, where's he going? Where's he going? All right, they're going away. All right, back to base. Should have shot him down. Oh, well. Also, we haven't seen any large... We have not seen any large craft landing at the Hawaii site. I'm wondering... Ooh, medium. Oh, okay, this must be a... Oh, it's fast, huh? What's it doing, chap? Do we send in the Sky Ranger, maybe? See if it'll uh, land somewhere? It looks like the kind that would land. Oh, it landed. All right, this must be a base construction. Ah, oh, shit. Yep. There's an... Oh, there's a bunch of them. Shit. Okay. Go to this one. Yes. Okay. I believe they're working on building a base. If my memory serves me correctly here. Okay, what are we looking at? Floaters. Perfect. We can deal with floaters. Done it before a hundred times. It shouldn't be an issue. The only real issue is that this is a medium craft. And um, there's th two more of them on top of this. So, and also it was a landing, not a crash. Ooh. Yep, this is a new ship we haven't been on. I, oh, this must be an abduction mission. Yeah, we haven't done one of these yet. yet. Soldiers move up. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of interior fighting here. Close quarters stuff. The heavy plasma is going to come in pretty clutch. All right. Let's listen. We hear doors opening and closing. Also, no, if it's an abduction, I don't think we're going to see chrysalids. All right, let's get these guys out and ready to fight. Get six shots downrange. Six shots downrange, please. Okay, or not. Well, we got six shots downrange, but they didn't hit. All right, if you could please just hit. Nice. Hey, there we go. I'd rather not spend a missile to blow up one alien, you know? Oh, there's another alien. Shoot. Um, okay, we'll spend a missile here. Oh, that'll do it. Kill it blew up the corpse, though, unfortunately. Moving it in. Let's get these guys moved up. My logic here is that the aliens will see the tank first and shoot at the tank. They won't come around the corner and shoot at these guys and kill like a whole conga line. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, we got, looks like we have a, a friend of in the woods here that I had not spotted yet. There he is. All right, let's get him. He's dead. Okay, so this area looks clear. I don't know how much of the north is going to be clear. But I would like to send at least four guys in. 
we'll have this guy kind of watch that direction. Okay. There's another floater. He's coming in. So let's move up. Hit him with the heavy plasma. Dead. Nice. And advance the rocket tank. Okay. Keep moving up. The nice thing about floaters is you don't have to worry about psionics. Well, they'll, well, they'll see the tank first, but there was a guy on the other side, is, which kind of threw off my plan. Alright, so they will send these guys this way to sort of sweep the exterior of the US UFO while we try to breach with another team. Eventually, or... You know, maybe we'll just hold the entrance to the UFO for a bit and try to meet up later. All right, there we go. So there is the one entrance. So if this was a terror mission, there would be two different sized doors here as well. Hmm, I don't like this. Now you go there, yeah. Just a little concerned about lines of sight. So it's not quite safe to advance right up to the door yet. Keep moving up this way. Just want to clear this north part of the map before we advance. Okay, so more over there. And this guy can advance a bit. Alright. Also, I should probably make it so that this guy doesn't get a reaction shot off and blow himself and the alien up. That would be bad. Let's check right inside the front door. There if well, that was That was nice. He was right there. How convenient. Get into this little divot here. And I'll just block this off. And expend all the remaining time units. So now we don't have to worry about a floater coming out to ruin our day with a burst of plasma. So let's see. If I remember the layout of this, there's going to be a big open area at the bottom. It's going to have like dissected cows and stuff. But then I don't remember the upper floor. But yeah, it's like two floors. I remember exactly what it looks like. Oh, we got a sighting. Hold up. 22. Oh, shoot. Hello, hello. That's not what you want to see. Wrap. Okay. This could be a problem. Okay, so let's grab this guy. Ooh, I will move up here to start with. Yeah, we're gonna have to take a little kneel here. Shh, maybe can hit this guy. Okay, got him. One down. This other one though. That's more of a concern. I don't think we have line of sight on him. Although, hang on. These guys already moved, shoot. Okay. Well, that's just gonna happen then. Better get up here and get ready to fire next turn. So we're gonna take a, a full round. Okay, the tank's dead. That guy's dead. All right, fair enough. Oh no, I said it again. How they have so many time units. All right, let's send in some guys here. Nothing? Okay. Good.
Hide your kids, hide your what? Yeah, they're shooting everybody in here. That's right. They blew up my tank. They blew up my... They shot my guy. I'm not super happy about. Kind of, we've been working on that guy for a while, but... Once we get power armor, things will start improving. Oh, crap. Oh, come on! What is even the point of personal armor? It's so useless. Okay, come on. Nope. Nothing doing. Let's go over this way then. Try to hit from here. The loss of the tank isn't a, as big a deal. But the loss of a potentially good shot is always a problem. Especially since we haven't been able to pin him down yet. This is like a captain. I don't want to be advancing her willy nilly. All right, we better go hunt down this floater before we continue. Nothing there. The float, yeah, the floater's getting a promotion at this rate. It's doing absolute nonsense to me. There he is. No reactions, huh? All right, finish him off. There we go. Yeah, this is a re good reason to sweep the outside with everybody before you try to breach the UFO. Okay. Well, let's continue on here. Lost two guys in a tank. Not great for a late game mission, but this is a medium craft, so... The money we're getting out of taking it is going to be worth it, hopefully. Nice shots. Okay. Yeah, all right, this looks clear to me. Get back in there. Posthumous promotion to general for the floater. I don't know what... I think leader is the highest the aliens can be. All right, hey, we got... The floaters are just... They're lining themselves up for me. This is great. I don't have to do anything. Just like, quick, get to the entrance. They're attacking the UFO. One at a time. All right, I think we've cleared the rest of the map. Let's move. Oop. All right, did not hear any doors open, so I think we're safe to advance to the next level. So there is the... This thing. The command chair or whatever. This is not, I don't think this is an abduction ship. Because I'm not seeing any of the, um, the mutilated cows or anything. I don't know what this is. Although this does look like a dissection table. Maybe I'm thinking of a different type of ship with the cows. The last floater didn't die. He's just stunned. Oh, you, oh yeah, that's true. You got to listen for the scream, right? Well, that's scary. All right, get him in there. Go this way. All right, there is the power. So that is clear. So the elevator is going to be here. So next turn, we'll go over that way and start making our way. The last two floaters are still alive. Okay. Well, we'll uh, we're sending people in, so should hopefully be able to keep an eye on them. Oh, there we go. That one's dead, for sure. He, they're, they're just coming out of the woodwork. What's going on here? This is crazy. What is happening? You kill one, they get back up. Alright. Let's keep moving. Stack up and get ready to launch. So many stunned. I guess the rifles hit their armor and that stuns them, but it doesn't kill them. Okay. 
What are these chairs? The chairs are facing nothing. What good do those do? Okay. Yeah, just get in there. Keep You can babysit the, the floater corpses, I guess. Oh, oh, Jesus. The worst part is, is I saw the little alert pop up and I could have killed him from down here. All right, well, there's another one dead. Fortunately, he was just a rookie, but still, that's kind of a crappy way. Okay, there we go. We lost three dudes, one tank, got a bunch of Illyrium, examination room. All right, so we need to get, yep. Oh, one of those was a captain. Ugh. Ew. That sucks. All right, let's get it. Not enough storage space. Okay, well, I guess we're going to sell some of the examination rooms are only worth 9,000, huh? Probably afford to sell some of the navigation. All the floater corpses. Some of the heavy plasma. We buy a rocket launcher tank. And I guess that's all the ammunition we can afford. Are we still working on... No, we... Okay. We'll wait for it to get back. Well, either way, that was a pretty solid... Uh, solid... The guys that didn't die were doing awesome. Yes. Yes, they were. Unfortunately, some of them did die, so... That's just... That's the life that we... Oh, it landed again. Hmm. Do we go for it? Probably not. We need to recover. Get some sergeants in there. Get another sergeant in there. The captain can go here. Yeah, losing a captain sucks. Can swap out the rifles for plasma rifles. And actually, now that we've done that... We can sell the rifles, finally, and start transferring. Hang on, so Americom has our other Psy Lab. Let's transfer some plasma rifles over there. So we can defend with plasma instead of traditional rifles. Okay, we got some scientists. Oop, wrong one. Scientists, the new soldiers have arrived at Americom. They are all terrible, I'm sure. I'm not even going to look at them. Basically, if you're not at Eurocom, you are not important yet. You could be important in the future, but you're mostly just there to defend the bases. And we should probably buy a interceptor as well. There we go. Gonna, yeah, it's going to fly off any minute now. Okay, so now we can sell the rifles We're using plasma, which is a much more effective and damaging weapon than the regular stuff. All right, power source, power suit. Yes. That's what we want to see. I also want the hyperwave decoder, but we're not quite there yet. That'll be the next thing after this, I guess. Small, very high. Where's it going? Hmm, that's interesting. All right, we'll shoot him down. Send out interceptor number four. If we can get him over the tundra, that would be a nice change of pace from fighting in the forest. Ooh. Missiles away. And he's crashed. We'll wait for morning, and then we'll send them out. We got some rockets. Unfortunately, we don't have the tank yet. All right. In that case, we'll just bring... Uh... Ugh, I don't really want to bring a colonel 
and stuff. Eh, we can probably do fine with just 10 people. I gotta make more armor as well. This will probably be the last batch of uh, personal armor that I need to make. Yeah, let's make sure everybody's got armor on. Armor. 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 And send them out. Yeah, it does look like we got them on the tundra, which will be a lot easier. There'll be a lot less uh, uh, obstruction. There's no trees, nothing they can hide behind. Okay. So let's get the smoke grenades out of the way. Uh, hello? We're out of smoke grenades, chat? Okay, then. Well, that's news to me. I guess we'll need to re-up on some smoke grenades. We've been using them too liberally. So do that. Yeah, I know, not enough. Give everybody a grenade. Yada yada yada. And we're good. Chuck a smoke grenade. And turn. Prepare to advance. All right. Good scouting, good scouting. What do we got? Floater? Floater it is. Let's do this. Nice hit with the plasma there. Beautiful. Nothing over that way. Okay. Let's get another group of guys down at the bottom here. I think the north is probably clear, but... We'll send somebody to spot that area as well. Keep going, keep going. And you stay in the back. You're the rear commander. All right. Heard a couple of doors open there. All right, this is a large scout or a medium scout. However you want to define it. Come on. Come on. You're a rifleman. You should be able to hit these. It's an easy grab. Yeah. That's fine. We got plenty more shots where that came from. That went right through him. What the heck? How is this possible? Wow. This dude's got some mad dodge skills here. Is crazy. Okay, here we go. Plasma rifle. Yikes. This is embarrassing. <laughs> Holy crap. Just hit one. I'm there you go. <laughs> Didn't even kill him. Come on. This really is XCOM. You don't love all this missing? Yeah, me neither. But uh like they say, that's XCOM, right? There we go. Just had to bring out a an expert to deal with it. Okay, let's advance in this direction. I think the north is probably safe. I should probably go check just to make sure. And then we'll advance up. He's a sniper. We don't want him in harm's way. We have a scout here. All right. That ought to do it. Most of those shots aren't even in the same time zone. I know, right? Like, we send them to the Arctic, and now all of a sudden they can't hit anything. Ridiculous. All right. Let's advance slowly. Okay. You're a sniper. You stay in the back. I gotta, I gotta remember to look at people's uh, titles. Otherwise, I'm gonna make bad moves. Worse than I have been making. Snow blindness, yeah, we'll blame it on that. They're not trained for this kind of environment. Urban environment, sure. Forest, yeah. Desert, okay. Arctic, eh, it's a different ballgame. There's polar bears and stuff, it's scary. Okay. I don't believe, yeah, I'm not expecting there to be anything up here. I just want to double check. And yeah, it looks good, so we'll send her down.
All right, this looks like a good team ready to advance. I don't know if we can expect to see any floaters come out here since this was a, a crash. Probably going to be more so like, let's look. Yeah, the reactor blew out, so probably a bunch of them are already dead. Should have packed polarized sunglasses. You know, in uh, some of the XCOM mods, there are actual environmental effects that you need to bring equipment for. Not slow snow blindness specifically, but stuff like, oh, it's cold. You should probably pack warm armor slash clothes. And I think that's kind of fun. Although it does make missions a little more tedious. You have to plan depending on where you're going. Like, well, this is going to be an Arctic mission, so I need to bring cold. But if this is a hot mission, I need to bring, you know, cold gear, but also a canteen. And you don't want to get heat stroke. I'll go up the right here. And there we go. The door is opening and closing. And I am okay with that. We've so far not spotted anything on the outs. Well, we spotted the one, but that's it, been it so far. Okay. Let's advance up here. Also, the aliens tend to be really good shots. It's kind of annoying. The Sky Ranger can hold so much. Seems like you could just keep basically everything, and it's just playing dress up for 20 minutes at the beginning of each mission. Yes. But I don't, I don't like playing dress up at the beginning of each mission. That's one of the problems. Even just the minimal amount of dress up I have to play right now. Kind of annoying. Okay, nothing there. Good. Fall back. Keep advancing. Okay. Then you can go there. And we're good. Oh, shoot. Oh, he took that. Nice. And he got a reaction shot off. That was... Wow. He didn't even take damage from that. He took it right to the, the freaking armor. That was awesome. Way to go, rookie dude. Okay. That might be the only remaining floater here. Pretty sus. Must be a secret alien agent. I don't know. That's kind of a all order. Here we go. Let's take, finish this guy off. Plasma to the face. Eat it. There's more. Jeez. Always more. All right. Nothing there. Okay. Start moving everybody else up then. Alright, secret alien agent man. Get over here and distract, please. You go there, you go there. You go there. So, the way armor works in this game and I don't claim to be the master or the expert, is I... You don't know how armor works in this game. Hit him with a regular... Pl well, the regular plasma rifle does quite a bit of damage. So that's not super surprising. Also, this guy's not a rookie. He's like a sergeant. That explains it. All right, fall back. So I'm guessing the alien is back here somewhere, so we're going to need to send in like a full team, potentially. There's my sniper. There he is. I'm going to get him trained up a little more if we can. All right, let's go. There he is. All right, we got him. Got him on the run, boys. Get him. Beautiful. All right, let's uh, double check here for any remaining aliens. 
So I do not expect there to be any. Let us see. All right, yeah, let's... that was it. Okay, we got them. We got alien navigation. We got alien alloys. We got some reactions. We got some accuracy. Very good. We lost a smoke grenade. Okay, let's purchase some more smoke grenades then. Like 20 of them, because we're going to use a lot of them. Let's keep on rolling. And there are the new soldiers that we requested. Connor Fitzgerald. And you are a scout. Welcome aboard. You are a rifle person. And you are a scout. Ohepa Te, te ar Aranui. Curious what name that is from. Yeah, nobody died. It's a pro good situation for proximity mines. Yes, but I prefer not to use explosives if I can help it. Which is maybe a stupid idea. So uh, eh, we'll hold on to that navigation. Personal armor. A of extra heavies that we're not using. Jeez, we got a lot of money. All right, next base. Maybe Antarctica? Or maybe Hawaii, I don't know. Smoke grenades have arrived. Let's make sure they are in the craft and I will bring a mine probe actually. I'm gonna give my rear commander something to do. He can use that. It'll be fun. Oh, the rocket launcher's here. Excellent. Throw it in the Sky Ranger and continue. Oh, very small. Shoot it down, please. It's very fast. Where's it going? It's close to Baghdad. Taking him down. One missile at a time. I think if you hit this with anything, it just explodes. Yeah, just goes kaboom. I've been listening to Valen too much. She's got a point though. Explosives destroy loot and loot is what keeps me alive. So this is our latest interceptor. We're gonna equip it with avalanche missiles. Best, basically the best weapon you can buy in the game or the best interceptor weapon you can buy. Everything else you have to manufacture. Send out Americom here. Shoot him down. Babu. Get him again, get him again, get him again. And he's crashed. Perfect. Yeah, we should be able to make it to that. Just make sure Sky Ranger is ready. We want to send out some rookies. So let's send out some rookies. They're ready to get promoted. They'll get promoted soon enough, right? Personal armor, personal armor. All right, let's do this. You, oh, I hope we get there before the night. It looks like we will. Perfect. Okay, you do not get that. Yeah, you don't, in fact, you don't get any of this stuff. You get the plasma rifle and one smoke grenade. You get the same thing. You get this. And you get the mine probe. You get that. Perfect. Everybody's happy. Let's throw the grenade. Throw the other grenade. And we have cover. Let's move in. So what are we thinking here? More floaters, maybe? Hmm. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting one. It's a farm. The medium scout. We'd get ugly. So keep these guys out here. Look, somebody like Valen, who was smart enough to create these crazy alien rulers, and I would like to remind everyone, we did not fight the Archon King, 
in XCOM 2 once. Out of all the playthroughs we did, we did not encounter that thing once. I'm starting to wonder if it's a real alien. Okay, so we heard a door open. But we don't see any doors that were opened. Scary. Kind of spooky. Let's go here. Shoot. Can't make it. Um, I guess go there then. We'll send the rocket tank over this way. There we go. What are we looking at? Sectoids? All right. Sectoids we can deal with pretty easily. Let's fire off a couple of plasma bolts. Yeah, that'll take care of them. I feel like the sectoids should make a different kind of noise. They make like a uh, noise. I like the one. I like the, the way that the sectoids sound in new XCOM. Uh, XCOM 1 specifically. Why does my dude have a mind probe? Uh, just to give him something to do. Like, I don't really need it at this point because we've already captured the one alien we need to capture alive. But it's still fun. Oh, there we go. Pew. You missed? Well, that was your mistake. You just got plasmid. All right, let's advance, advance, all right, this works, all right, so it sounds like they are inside the craft at this point, I did not hear any other doors open. So we'll focus up. Ah, there we, there he is. Okay. Question is, can we get somebody over there in time? Or should I f try to fall back, maybe? Let's do that. Can still be spotted, however. Maybe we can get a shot off? Probably not. Yeah, the wall is blocking. That's fine. We'll just advance here with these guys and maybe they'll get a reaction shot or two. 100% on the aim shot. Yeah, it's nice um, when you have the higher the higher shooting skill that you know you can actually start. You don't have to use auto fire anymore. I use auto fire for a lot of the game just because getting 25% on three shots is better than getting 55 on one. Like just mathematically. Shooting at the tank, shooting at the tank. Oh, come on! Another tank down, chap. What a world. Ah, come on. You could hit that. We get a aim shot, 72%. Ooh, alright. This is gonna get ugly. Come on, dude. I can't save you if you won't save yourself. It's ridiculous. Somebody's going to bite it here. This is going to get ugly. We lose more tanks that way. Yeah. It might be time to hang up the tank. Maybe once we have the power suit. I do not, I don't like this line that I've created for myself. I better break that line. Can't move. Can move, okay. Yeah, we're gonna get, yeah, we're gonna get hit here, yep. There he goes. Saw that coming. Uh, I mean, that's their own fault for not killing him when they had the chance. Like, you put seven rounds on him. The least you could do is hit one. They're sectoids. They go down in one hit. Lining them up for auto shot. Yeah, that's why I had to move them. Because there's another big problem that could happen. And we lost a tank. We lost a guy. This is uh, it's a bad mission so far. Worst part is it wasn't even a rookie. Like a regular guy. This is our sniper. He should not be on the front lines like this. 
Okay. Alright, let's advance up this way. And that's as far as we'll go with that, because somebody walks around the dang corner and starts shooting at me. Okay, looks clear. There's nobody directly inside of the door, so they can't walk all the way over here and still shoot me. At least I don't think they can. Yeah, for a medium sectoid craft, this has been a a bit of a shit show. Listen, once we have blaster bombs, we'll just blow everything up. It'll be glorious. But until then, we have to make do. do oh, come on, really? The sectoid's probably not even in there. He's gotta be, right? have to be, I guess. They usually hide out in that little corner, though. There he is. All right. See, he goes down on one. There we go. Oh, oh he was captain, too, I bet. Yeah, we lost the rocket launcher. Oh, he was a sergeant. No, he got promoted. It was a sergeant. Okay. Whatever. All right, another soldier, another armor, and I guess we're buying another tank because we have the money at least. It's not a huge expense. Like, we have the money for this. It's just annoying. That's how you beat the game. Oh, the power suit is here. Yes. All right, so let's grab med kits. Just hurry up with that. Yeah, we'll get to work on these right away. They are quite expensive, though. All right, well, we'll finish. Okay, I guess we're already, we're, we'll finish it. It's going to take six hours. And... Hold on, let me change this. Twenty? Thirty? Forty? 50, 60, I just want to get it to excellent, 55, 54, 53, 52, or 53 is the sweet spot, laser grenade, or laser pistols, let's go, so we need the power suits, well we gotta wait, so let's wait. Six hours. Okay, personal armor is done. Power suits. Let's go. We want a bunch of these things. Twelve at least, I guess. Okay. Sixteen days and sixteen hours it's going to take to finish these. Dieter Webb is our latest soldier, and he is a rifle person. Welcome to the squad. Nope. We also need to we'll look towards getting uh, the upgraded interceptors and stuff. So right now we're still working with the basics. Right, personal armor. I feel like the rookies should be the ones to get power armor to start with, but maybe that's a bad idea. Although they are the ones going out there first. So maybe it would be smart. Alright, it is June. Middle of June. Alright, so what do we got here? Small. Send out from AsiaCom. And we will shoot it down, hopefully. Alright, bring it on back. Bring it on back. Let's go. Take him out. There we go. That's what you like to see. All right. Well, let's get him in the, uh, we'll put Weber in the power suit just to give him a little bit of staying power as he comes off the ramp here. 
There we go. But yes, it looks stupid to put a rookie in a power suit, but keep in mind, we would like to keep him alive. So that's what we're going to do. And also, we only have the one, so who am I going to give it to? Probably not the guy in the back who's not even going to see combat. That would be stupid. All right. Send him out first. Hey, hello. How's it going? You're dead. We should probably check the other side as well. Oh, yep. Good thing we checked. Unfortunately, she's holding a smoke grenade. So let's send somebody else to do the dirty work. Very nice from Fitzgerald here. Hit him on the first shot. That's great. Let's... Oh, the grenade's not even primed. Are you kidding me? Ugh, all right. Why was the grenade not primed? Forgot to push the button, I'm sure. Fine. Primed now. Also, the other thing about giving him the mind probe is it lets me know at a glance who the... Oh, ho, ho. oh, you made a mistake, my friend. You missed. And that is no bueno for you. Okay. Yeah, I think only the floater's inside. The reactor's dead. All right, send up the power suit. He didn't even get hit. Just straight up missed. Okay. And let's get a couple of other folks ready. The lack of Illyrium is probably going to come back and kick me in the butt. I don't know how much is a good amount to have. Yeah, now OJP, you're talking about the, the PlayStation version of XCOM, right? Of this game that had the, the cutscenes? Okay. There he is. Let's hit him. There's a wall in the way, chat. Why is there a wall in the way? The plasma actually hits these walls. That's awesome. That should... Oh, there's more? Crap. Alright, let's check. Not here. Probably outside the UFO then? Yeah, nobody in here. Alright, let's go poke around the outside then. Not something I would like to do. But I guess we have to. Not a big fan. Not knowing where the enemies are. Yep, okay. Yeah, this this is to this area is totally clear. All right. Well, good job breaching the UFO guys. Now let's try to finish them off. That's a lot of smoke. Holy cow! Also, I'm a little concerned that I've been like killing off my psi trainers, and I'm not going to have nearly enough uh, troops that are getting trained at psi right now. Suck. Okay, how about this? There he is. Where is he? He's floating? There we go. Take him down. Alright, that one's dead. Let's check over here. Probably nothing. Probably the last one. Yeah, looks like it. Nope. Okay, all right, I got a little ahead of myself. what I get? I got excited. Now let's check down here. There he is. Fire off some shots here. Nice hit with the plasma. All 
All right, nobody died that time. Good, good. Got a little bit of accuracy, some extra hit points. Some strength is always good. Some promotions. Laser pistol is done. So I suppose... We could start with... Flat... No, hang on. UFO navigation. Yeah, we need to start working on getting the UFO... Whatchamacallis going. Once we're finished with the power suits, that'll give us something to sell. And the radar is up. And we also need... To start thinking about the hyperwave relay at some point. The power suits look squiddy in the animations. Maybe we should watch those later. Before I end the stream, that would be fun. Could just watch some of the more fun ones. Medikit is done. Let's get alien navigation going. And now produce the medikit. Cool. Okay, so what? Check research here. Still unknown. Go another day. Check it again. It is good. All right. Well, we'll leave it on good then. Very large. Oh, that's scary. All right. Where's it headed? Can't shoot down a very large yet. So we're just going to, it's going to go where it's going to go. Where's it going? Novosibirsk. Okay. It's just stopping there. Maybe it's building a base in Russia. No. Okay. It was just flying around, I guess. Interesting. Living quarters is done. Yeah, there are no soldiers here. So let's make, let's change that. We will get some rifles. And some proximity grenades. And call it good. That will be our defense. You put it in Discord? Thank you. I will check those out. Okay, there's the rifles and the stuff. Let's check back in on our research. It's still good. Very large. All right, where's it going? It's doing nothing. There it is again. I don't know what's going on here. Just flying around. It's probably headed for the South Pole. Yeah, I don't know if that's one of the ones that goes around scanning for your base. Because that is one of the things. If you shoot down too many craft, they'll send out a retaliation mission. And they'll go after one of your bases. All right, UF UFO navigation. So now we can do the flying suit and UFO construction. Before we do any of that, however, we're going to get the hyperwave decoder. And I just now realized we're towards the end of June and I did not get a full cadre of uh, scientists. So we'll have to rectify that at the end of the month here. Okay. We're heading into July. So it starts in February. So we're on month seven. No, does it start January or does it start February? I think it starts January. So this would be the end of month six. And the power suits are done. Wonderful. I think like, I don't know, like six of these. I don't know if they're reusable. It take three days though. All right. And let's get everybody armored up. Suit up, boys. Also, yeah, we're going to need to make way more of these. Because we're going to just eat through them all. And we'll send the the personal armor. We can send that to Americom. They'll actually have a use for that. We'll send 20 of them. Eh, we'll send 22, whatever. And send that something else later. Also, do we have enough plasma... Rifles, no. Well, yeah, we do. We have 10. Send a couple of these over to AsiaCom to serve as a defense as well. Start in January. Okay. Thank you, OJP. Just trying to keep track of how far into the game we've gone. Rifle clips have arrived. So that means in AsiaCom, we can sell the traditional rifles that won't be needing those. 
Hey, there we go. They are partially happy and have agreed to increase their funding. All right, I'll allow it. Psionics? Hey, oh, we have some good ones here. All right. So anybody above 80, we can keep in. Unfortunately, our commanders are not super strong. Start scanning these guys here as well as this one. Sniper. Sniper Lee is a psychic genius, apparently. You watched a whole bunch of Mob Psycho. Oh, wait. This guy is 93. That's huge. Okay. Well, and an Americom. We'll just go down the list. So let's do some housekeeping. We have 20 more slots for scientists. We will get 20 more scientists. We cannot afford 20 scientists. Never mind. Let's sell some stuff. Sell some of those. Sell some floater corpses, sell some sectoid corpses. And we want to sell some plasma pistols, maybe. Then we purchase the scientists. That'll speed up the research. Time to start making those aliens protect their brains. Yes. I am very excited for this. So we saw Lee. So he is now a psy-op. And yeah, that shows right there. So you are also a Psy Op. And then we had one more who was like big brained. This guy. 93. Is there anybody else? I think everybody else was like kind of mid. Eh, 82 isn't bad. Better than nothing. Yeah, okay. So that's everybody. So the Psy guys. We're going to have to rearrange the Sky Ranger here. Size go at the back. Uh, and you are basically as important as the Colonel. Because of your special brain. And... Hold on. I didn't actually put him in. Let's put him in, please. Put in a tank. Let's make sure everybody is wearing the appropriate attire for this. We also need some Psyamps. Four Psyamps is actually perfect, and we'll probably need to start making some more. So we need Psyamps. We'll make four more. And we also need power suits. We don't have enough workspace. That's fine. We'll get around to it. Okay. It's mind meld time. Let's go. Hopefully we start going up and get some mutons. Small. Let's get them. Asiacom, go. Gonna shoot him down over Japan. I'm fine with that. This will be a perfect opportunity to begin testing our Psy operatives. Kaboom. Alright, we'll wait for... Maybe like a midnight-ish. To send out our first... Send out the Sky Ranger. Alright, let's go. Sky Ranger, go. I think one of the things that makes Psy so powerful in this game is that you don't need line of sight to use it. You can just use it from across the map. Just as long as somebody, somebody on your team has spotted them. Which is a little ridiculous. Okay, Siam. Won't be needing any of this fancy stuff. Okay. Yep, won't be needing any of this. Although we may think about giving them plasma pistols or something later. Well, alright, it doesn't hurt to give them a heavy plasma, right? Because I don't believe you need two hands to use it. Okay, looks good to me. Well, we'll start by throwing some smoke, although... Oh, jeez, it hit the freaking tank again. At least one of them got it on there. Send out the tank. Ah. 
OJ Pete says, even if an alien you've mind controlled spots another alien, you can chain them. Yes. That's how I beat the final mission. Oh, shit. It's ethereals. All right, that's fine. We'll test it out anyway, because it gives power. Or it gives Psy um, skill training. Bravely run away? Nah, we're fine. You fool, you thought you had brain power. I do not, apparently. What a fool I was to think that I had brain power. Fortunately, the ethereals are pushovers, like, physically. So it's fine. Ah, crap. There's another one. Um, where's my other guy? This may end up badly for me. I was hoping I would go against, like, mutons or something. I didn't know it was going to be ethereals already. Like, come on. This could get ugly, I guess. Shoot. Freaking hill's in the way. Alright, please. Please hit. Shit. Oh, fuck. That's not good. Um, okay, then. Guess we're doing it like that. The heck's the point of power armor if I can't even tank a hit? Oh, chat, 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 chat. This is brain power. This is your brain on drugs. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, panic? That's fine. I can deal with panic. A panic? That's fine. I can deal with panic. Just not mind control, please. All right, let's start by um, sending out the tank. Don't tell me there's another one. Okay, there he is. Fine, there's just the one. Okay, let's do this. Not enough time units, okay. Oh, come on! What a joke. This is kind of bad. No, do not shoot the frickin'. Oh God, chat, this is, it's all falling apart. No. Okay. All right. All right. We got this. Come on. We need emergency evac now. Damn it. <sighs> Flashbacks to new XCOM. Guys, come on. You got to hit them. I can only do so much. Can't you see that? Oh, jeez. Okay. This, this is this could get ugly. Well, I'm glad I have my own psionics upon meeting the ethereals at least. So I can maybe, just maybe, not have too many issues. Yeah, tank's dead. Yeah, there it goes. Alright, you've panicked. That's fine. Take take a knee. How are the ethereals so tough? I thought they were like wimps. That was kind of their thing. All right, you need to get up here and put the hurt on that other one. There he is, get him. There we go. Jeez, this is getting ugly. All right, all right, all right. Um, okay, so we lost one. So f oh shoot. He had a rifle at some point. I don't know where it went though. Okay, the tank is down. Repeat, the tank is down. Let's pick up whatever weapon. Okay, we're good. Intel was wrong. Ethereals are always pretty tough, even if the flavor text says otherwise. Yeah. I don't know how they justify it. But whatever. That's how they wanna. They want to play the game. Fine, we, we've killed a decent amount of them. This is only a small scout. Should only be like five or six aliens in it. We've killed three. Granted, we lost one of our guys and a tank. Which means I need to make more... Oh, here we go. 
at line of sight maybe somebody nope not at all please go behind the Ooh, nice we, we tanked those shots pretty well all right let's try panicking him guys if we all try to panic him maybe just maybe it'll break through his psychic barrier no no you're probably right that probably is stupid why would i even think that okay whatever uh yeah nobody has a shot oh he's just moving all right i can work with that he's panicked all right sure whatever Go be a big baby somewhere else. Shit. Okay. You have panicked. We can maybe get a shot off here. And we can't take a... aim shot. Yep. Okay. Let's go down this way. Eventually, yeah. Eventually, I will bend them to my will. I know. I'm, I'm very much looking forward to that. But until then, I have to kill them the old-fashioned way, I guess. Okay, are there any more? Oh, jeez. All right, they're dead. We got them. That's a lot of stuff. I like seeing that. I don't like seeing people be dead, but... Yeah, we lost another sergeant. All right, that's fine. Um, we need another soldier. We need to make more armor, but we already knew that. So we'll just wait patiently. That wasn't too bad for the first encounter with Ethereals, I think. Medikit is done. Let's get the Psyamps going. Do we have enough money for this? No, we do not. Hold on. We need to sell the ethereal corpses. Uh, we'll sell some navig- uh, we're, we're gonna need navigations, I probably shouldn't. Oh, we have plenty of heavy plasma to sell again. Let's do that. Scientists have arrived. Alright, forget the alien grenades. We'll get those next. Maul. Which way is it going? That way. Send out Interceptor 1, I guess. We might also want to do something in Madagascar just to cover South Africa. It's the one country we don't have uh, coverage on. Boom. All right. He's down. So let's get the Sky Ranger ready to go. We're sending in this guy. And the rest of these guys, why the heck not? Just send out a full squad. Although, unfortunately, we do not have power suits for everyone. So only the people going out in front will need power suits. In which case, why even bring the extra four if they're not even going to have power suits? Whatever. Just try not to get hit. Send a couple of med kits. All right, let's do this. Hopefully it's Mutons. And if not, if it's Ethereals, we'll be fine. We need more Avalanche Missiles. We burned through them all already. we get 20 more. Let's go. We don't have Smoker. No, okay, there they are. Right... You guys were in the front last time. So let's give you these, these, these. I play dress up every freaking time. You guys are just in coveralls. Can go. Uh, we do not have enough weapons for everybody. Fortunately, the Psy operatives do not need the weapons. So everybody should just get a 
heavy plasma here. And you guys can have some delicious med kits. So first thing, as always, we chuck some smoke. Like so. And then we prepare to advance on the unsuspecting aliens. Well, there's the craft. What do we got? Sectoids? Oh, baby. Let's go. Their mind control? Nah, not working. Dang. Sectoids, they're too powerful. They're resisting my mind control. How were they able to do it? Just try to panic him. There we go. Successful attack, but let's shoot at him anyway. He's dead. Nice. Alright, everybody bail out. Let's go. I need dedicated door openers. That's what these guys are. Everybody who's not a Psy operative is a door opener. Get loaded up and welcome back, Hex. I hope you guys enjoyed last night's uh, stream with Pangolin. That was hilarious. Oh, heard a door open. Heard a door open, chat. Kind of spooky. If I could just see the sectoid before it saw me, that would be great. I can't believe we had her going for so long. She was convinced this was a real place. And it was glorious. Keep going, keep going. You know what, if I can bring that little bit of whimsy to someone's life, I feel pretty good about myself. It's like when I was a kid and I learned about the hot-headed borer that lives in Antarctica. And it has this, like, superheated head that it uses to bore through the ice and eat penguins. Oh, you're getting shot at? Oh, come on, he's wearing armor! Oh, this is getting ridiculous. Why do I even have armor if it's not going to work? Ugh. Just use personal armor if that's going to be the case. All right, morale attack successful. There you go. Keep advancing. Oh, yes, and I guess uh, if you guys want to check out her stream, she's been playing Spelunky, which has been pretty hilarious. She is. Uh, she has not gotten to Olmec once yet. She's been playing a lot. Oh, that's it? And we lost, of course, we lost an XCOM operative because that's just how these go. Oh, it was Fitzgerald. Oh, he was so good, though. Man. Oh, well. Add him to the list. Air Clayson. All right, let's learn about this guy. Fresh rookie, and he is a scout. Welcome to the scout life. All right, how are we doing on... Hmm. I guess we need to wait for those to finish. One day, seven hours, then we can start working. The hyperwave decoder is ready. Alien communications rely on a super dimensional wave, which travels almost instantaneously. Okay, then. Let's get on it. Also, let's not overkill the grenades here. 60. 50. All right, so 55 maybe, 54, 53, 52, 51, 50. All right, so 51 is the magic number and not plasma pistol. Blaster bomb, we have UFO construction, which is probably a smart next move. The burrowing hot-headed borer, is that the inspiration for the worm in Subnautica Below Zero? Uh, possibly, because it has, like, the superheated horn, right, that it uses to dig through the ice and then knock you off your bike and that's it. Kind of lackluster as an enemy, honestly. 
We got a large one. Let's see what it's up to. Probably a terror site, maybe? Where's it going? Dallas, all right, it is a terror site. So let's get geared up here. Do we have, we don't have a tank. Ugh. Okay, all right, that's fine. Get everybody armored up as best we can. Yeah, we need to make a whole lot more power suits, don't we? And here's hoping, oh, it's gonna be a night mission. Oh no. This is gonna get ugly, chat. But hey, we gotta at least show up, right? So, you know, you guys need to have rifles. What am I doing? Like that. Okay. All right, everybody else has Psy? All right, let's do this. Well, we will start with Panic. There we go. All right, so now he will not shoot at us. Because he no longer has his ability. Okay, never mind. Just kidding. He'll shoot at us just fine. Okay. Ooh, did that hit somebody? Doesn't look like it. Just kind of went right between a couple of guys. I guess he'll only panic on his turn. Also, oh, this is going to have cyber discs, isn't it? Not excited about that. All right, next up, let's try to panic this one that we can see. All right, he's down. Can we mind control? I'm gonna mind control him. See if that works. Well, I don't know if the morale attack actually makes him panic immediately. I don't know what that means. What? Oh, does it one shot you on foot? I guess I never got hit with it on foot, so it was never an issue for me. There we go. He's dead. Okay, they're going for the civilians, that's fine. Another one. Oh, they're trying to take over me, huh? Well, my friends, that's not quite going to work the way that you want it to. Sorry to tell you. Damn it. Oh, I hit the ground beneath them. Wasn't aiming properly. At least we got him. Okay, keep going, keep going. Nothing here. It's fine, it's fine, let's keep advancing. We do have armor now. Not that it's gonna do us much good, but it'll maybe do us some good. They panic on their turn, but I they do they are not panicked on my turn. Okay, I got it. Alright. Yep, there he is. Still trying to go for the Psy attack. He panicked. Okay. That's fine. Hey, there they are. Alright, well let's start shooting at them. We'll panic whichever one's left. Really? Is that what we're doing today? We're shooting at the wheel? There we go. Oh, shit. How many reaction shots do you get, dude? Come on. A little unfair. Come on. I hit that one, I guess. Okay, this is just getting ridiculous. Um, right, Well, we got more people at least. Let's send them out. There we go. Hey, another one. Okay. Keep on watching here. Yep. We're 
works for me. Now, where is the one up here? Pretty sure there's one over here. Unfortunately, it is inside a house, which to get to, I would have to take the fence. So I guess we better start going this way. We could shoot through the fence, I suppose. Oh, that's a grenade. Okay, well that clears the fence out of the way at least. Let's advance then. We got here, we got a grenade fella or a alien fella. He's dead. Fortunately, we have medics now. So we can maybe send uh, the medics in to heal that one. Was a suspicious looking wheel? Yeah, well, we shot it, didn't die though, so we need to shoot it some more times, I guess. Too powerful. Yeah, you do not have the med kit. I think this guy does have a med kit. Alright, so that's two people dead, one to plasma, one to an explosive. Let's keep moving and trying to push these guys out of their hidey holes. We haven't seen any cyber discs. Wonder if they just didn't send any this time. Giving me a bit of a break. If they're going full psionics now. Okay. Oh, there it is. Coming from in the dark there. It's gone berserk. Ah, oh, shit. Berserk bad. Okay, could have been a lot worse. Not in there. Not in there. Oh, I don't like this. I do not like this one bit. Okay, there he is. There he's dead, okay. Another one gone. Right, we know that he's like up here. Oh no, maybe not. Maybe he's... Where could he be? He's like in a building, right? I thought I saw that. This is the end of the map. These are these are just open fields, like a park or something. It's this big house. This is the biggest area that he could be in. All right, fall back. Let's get some healing. Okay. Relax. You'll be just fine. Perfect. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. That's not great. Luck oh, come on! Okay, he's like up here somewhere? There he is. Freaking mind control. Not enough time units, huh? Alright, we got him. Knew he was up there. Alright, who did that? That's four dead now. Gee, we're gonna have to make more armor. And then we have this guy over here. I right, took care of him. How many of these guys are there? There's too many of them. Okay. And yeah, no cyber discs, I guess. Um we can panic our own guy. There we go. Dude. We're gonna have a talk about this when we get home. Alright, so this guy is uh, useless. We won't be using him anymore. He is far too psychically weak for our purposes here. Okay, how about this one? Can we get up here? Can we shoot him through the window? Maybe. Yes, we can. Let's get him. Alright, where's the last insectoid here? The fact that I can't control that guy is really causing trouble. 
we maybe mind control him back? I guess if he's weak enough, we can just mind control him, right? There we go. Drop your weapon. And go over here. Yeah, he's okay. He's up in the house. He is panicked. Okay. He's got to be up here. Nope. Ah, shoot. It's not up here. Well, he's up there, but I can't see him. Which is almost as bad. Uh, mind control battle. Right, well, at least he's not doing anything. Good. I think we're clear on this side. Probably not smart to be sending a lone soldier to do this. But kind of running low on guys at the moment. Due to the lack of, uh, I don't know, the armor not doing anything for the most part. Gomber oh, shoot. This guy's gone berserk now. Alright, where is this little asshole? I know you're in here. He's not in here. Must be up at the top. There he is. You caused me some trouble today. Okay, civilians killed by aliens. Civilian saved. XCOM operatives killed, two. That was gross. All right, uh, yep. Sounds about right. We are burning through soldiers still. How many do we have now? Doesn't even say. I have to look here. We need, I can't be right. Through 11. Didn't we just lose three? Or did we just lose two? Did we only lost... Damn, we only lost two, it says. Okay. Well, I guess if that's what it says. Psyamp is done. How many power suits have we lost? Whatever. Let's make like 20 of them. The more, the merrier. Got the money for him, at least. Cost us 840 grand just to make them. Not even the parts. Small. All right, let's get this one. This is revenge. For that terrible, terrible sectoid mission. It's too fast. Right, let's get him. Hey. And I thought the cyber discs were bad. That was awful. I guess now is about the time you'd want to build the mine shield, huh? If that's a something you were doing. All right, we got a rifle person here. And up to the top you go. We got a wounded soul sergeant. Our psionic eyes are getting good. Don't get me wrong. It's just we need uh, to stop dying. Okay, alien grenades. I don't know if we'll use them, but we have them. I guess if we're gonna... Ugh. Do we need grenades? I feel like grenades are just gonna cause more trouble than they're worth when it comes to um, guys, so, I don't know, maybe we send, like, two, let me give them to psychically stronger people. Yada yada, okay, new people, we have a scout, and we have a another scout, okay, that's exactly what we needed, actually, we needed more scouts, more meat shields for the meat grinder and let me guess we do not have a rocket tank of course we don't 
I didn't buy one yet. I don't have enough storage space. Okay, uh, we can sell the grenades. What else can we sell? We can sell some of these heavy plasmas. I'm hesitant to get rid of the ammunition. Probably get rid of some of the plasma pistols. Get rid of some of the small launchers. We're not going to really use those. That's a lot of grenades. We probably don't need that many grenades. That's a little bit better. Oh, and we have a bunch of sectoid corpses now. Let's get rid of those. Then we will buy the tank. And okay. That's all we can afford, I guess. We need to build another general store. We keep running out of space to keep things for some reason. Hmm, very small. All right, let's shoot it down. Asiacom, go. Take him out. Slow down. There we go. And pew. the little guy, yeah, just explodes. Doesn't give me anything, just points. And we got some rockets, cool. Very small, another very small one, huh? I'm getting a little worried about, th oh shoot. I should be building a, um, a uh, hyperwave decoder, shouldn't I? Probably start building those in various places. Hyperwave decoder. All right, that's all we can afford for now. So we'll wait. So we're in July. I feel like I typically win in the early in year two. So in the year 2000, we typically win. But I feel like we could probably push it to like later in the year here, given all the psionics we've already gotten. Okay, keep spinning the wheel. Go UFO construction, new fighter craft. Yes, please. Although maybe, eh, yeah, we'll start learning about it. Tank rocket launcher has arrived. Let's get him in there. We need to clear out two slots. There we go. I say I need to clear out two slots and then I just don't. Because I put people in there right away. Captains can go here. Captain doesn't really mean anything. The ranks are not determined by skill. They're just determined... There's some kind of um, algorithm that is used to determine who gets promoted, and it's based on how many troops you actually have. So them getting promoted is not an actual indication of their ability, much like in real life. You get promoted because you got promoted. That's all there is to it. And then we're going to slap the rocket launcher on there. That'll serve as our forward scout. And there we go. Small, huh? All right, send out the uh, send out one of the fighters, I guess. Take him down. If it's not ethereals, maybe we'll get a mind control here. But we have yet to see the 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 mutons. There we go. Maybe we'll get a chance to see them. All right, crash site nineteen intercept with the Sky Ranger. Go. Let's get this set up. This is just all wrong. It's it's so wrong. Everything is wrong. That's actually right. Anybody else have a smoke grenade? Oh, they're both right there. All right, so you have a smoke grenade. You have a plasma rifle. Good. You guys are medics. You guys will have grenades. If I ever get around to using them. And there we go. Shoot it in prime it. In my haste. I neglected to prime the grenades, chat. I was too fast. Not something I normally say about myself. Alright, let's get the tank out there. And... There is a UFO over there. I guess we'll go explore this way first before we make any judgments. We'll advance the infantry up. 
hopefully if they shoot at the tank it doesn't kill it right away and we get a chance to respond all right they didn't even shoot at it that's good so let's move this way hey there it is what do we got sectoids okay we can do sectoids let's get them mind control successful boys you know what though let's uh We're out here mind controlling sectoids. I'm very excited about that. <laughs> you stupid aliens. All right, drop your gear. Take me to your leader. They got heavy plasmas and grenades. Gross. All right, what else you got? You got any friends here? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. So what we should do, now that we've disarmed them, so we can do some practice shots at them. The best part of the game. Just line them up and take them out. Round them all up. Train your psionic abilities. Various other things. So yeah, we got them. We got them good. That didn't work fine plenty more where that came from Ooh. Mm. there we go go find your buddy i know he's right there because i put him there okay didn't quite get that one i right, didn't get that one either that's fine Oh. Hey, reaction fire. Nice. I did not want the tank to shoot at stuff. Let's be clear about that. Um, all right. Send you here. Fortunately, it didn't end up working out. So you just go face that way. All right. Who needs some skill? You look like you could use some skill. He's dead. Too easy. I bet those aliens feel pretty foolish now. Got some promotions. You weren't aware, uh, yeah, all the tanks can reaction fire. It just doesn't usually happen because you don't typically have enough. They don't have very high reactions and also you don't usually leave enough time units in there for a shot. Here goes time, small. This one's headed east. Not Asia com. Zoop. It's too fast. Head into Japan. Okay, we're north of Korea. Let's take him down. Do another one of those. Crash landed already. I'll right, we'll wait for daytime. I don't even think we took any damage on that. Everybody should be good. Yeah. Nice. Everybody still got the power suits. We might not even need the smoke grenades anymore if we can just start mind controlling people. Well, let's. This could be ethereals. Let's be on our toes here. Okay, make sure these are primed. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Yeah, looks good. So, nothing out front. Let's chuck a smoke grenade. Or two. Honestly, two is probably overkill. One is usually enough. But I guess if one fails, it doesn't hurt to have a backup, right? Okay, we have not spotted the... There's... Okay, what are we dealing with here? Ethereals. All right, it is ethereals. That's okay. We can hopefully take them out and then... You know... Okay. He's dead. Can we get back into the ship, please? Oh, no, we can't. Okay, well, I guess try to take cover then. Do the best you can. Fortunately, the Ethereals cannot shoot, or they cannot mind control tanks. So we're safe in that regard. But of course, 
they can mind control our guys and then shoot the tank, which is just as bad. We do not have auto fire here. I guess we'll take a snapshot. Hopefully hit him. Damn. We didn't hit him. That's okay. We got more. There's plenty more where that came from. And much like the floaters, these guys can hover. And we'll be able to hover too once we get the flying armor. Ah, crap. He's still alive. Um, I don't have infinite shots here. Come on. Three. Damn. All right, we almost had him. We don't have enough for a snapshot either. It's too bad. All right, we got one more guy who can shoot. Let's send him in. Let's go. Auto fire here. One, two. He's not dead. Are you? Ah, are you kidding me? These guys have so much freaking health. Or armor, whatever. I don't know what they got going on. Let's advance. Maybe he'll spot the tank and then not see us through the smoke. And we can try um, panicking him. No, of course not. This is stupid. But that's okay. Failed. Failure counts as a an attempt. So the more attempts we make, the more skill we get. And that is good. Because there's a formula. It's like your, it's your size strength plus your size skill or something like that. Or there's a multiplicative effect. Man, they are really hitting that one dude hard. What the heck? All right. What do we got here? We got one over there. Let's try to take care of him first. You know what? Screw you. Oh, for... All right, that's fine. At least opens a spot to hit this one. Which is what I got the rocket tank for, actually. To, like, clear terrain more so than anything. All right, we can't see the guy. This guy's... They're going after him real hard, so I'm going to drop all his cure. And he's going to be bait. And there is that one. Let's see if we can hit him. Maybe. We don't know. Probably not. But I'll take the shots. I might be rolling poorly too. Yeah, it's like it's it's all RNG, right? Just like sometimes they'll shoot me and it does no damage because random luck of the luck of the draw. That one's dead. Perfect. A lot of mind control opportunities though. I'm guessing that's because there's more inside the ship that I haven't seen yet. Let's keep advancing. This reminds me of when I... Well, I don't have Psy Shields. In XCOM 2, when we cheesed the Warlock by putting our... Putting our Ranger and our Templar with Psy Shields. Or Mind Shields or whatever. And since they were always the closest, uh-oh, uh-oh, that's not good. That's really bad. Oh, God. What the heck? How many th these things are there? This is getting ridiculous. Okay, well, let's start by mind controlling my own guys back. Apparently, they're so psychically weak. This guy is also mind-controlled? Is that right? Yeah, he is. Okay. Well, that's fine. Who can play at that game? I'll shoot the heck out of you. Okay, I will not shoot the heck out of you, I guess. Where's the other one? You're also under psionic control, but you don't have a weapon, so it's fine. There's the other one. How many? That's two dead. Because of some jerk who got his mind broken, I guess. Oh boy. Okay. Let's keep rolling here. 
I guess as long as we take them back, doesn't really matter, right? Just remote control my own guys. Shoot, he's like taking a lot of damage though. Ah, oh, whatever. Okay, you've panicked. All right, we can we can play this game. Oh, okay, he's good actually. Pick up this gun and unload it. There we go. That should be all of them, right? All right, who has health? Who has a med kit? So where's the guy? Where'd he go? There he is. Okay. Do you have a med kit? Somebody's got to have a med kit around here. Probably one of the dead guys, the rate we're going. All right, come on. There we go. Do you have a med kit? You do have a med kit. Okay, good. I don't think it, I don't think it's, we have it in time, unfortunately. But I'll try to get over there as fast I, as I can. As for you, see if you can spot any ethereals in there. No. Oh, come on. Ah, it's too much. It's too much. Too much mind control. You can't deal with this. We need to get the mind shields. It's getting out of. This is getting out of hand. Also, I can't even see where the freaking guys are. All right, everybody, drop your weapons. Not enough time units. Drop your weapon. Drop your weapon. You're wounded. Okay. Well, you might... You might yet survive here. Oh, where the heck is this guy? There's a fly on my ring light here. This is getting crazy. All right, there he is. All right. Who do we got here? They ask you how you are. You yeah, say that <laughs> yeah, you're fine. really. You're not really fine, but you just can't this get is, into it. It's, it's no, guys, it's fine. I, I swear. This is fine. We're technically doing all right. Because our Psy guys are still alive and they're the ones that we actually care about. And I believe that was the last one. Nope. There he is. There's another one. That I did not see. There he is. I should have looked around. But I did not. So we'll burn all our time units on trying to panic the ethereal here. It was not the last one, chat. Relip is right. Oh, ethereals, man. In the new XCOM, they were so worthless. I forgot how brutal they were in this one. But in exchange for that power, it also makes psionics really powerful, which is cool. Okay, so we lost... Oh, we only lost three. Oh, that's not too bad. I felt like we lost a lot more than that. Yeah, we need more rockets. We need three new people. Plus this is uh, like culling the people who are too weak, psionically, you know? So it's probably a good thing. Okay. Fine. And we got a bunch of ethereal corpses, which should be worth more. But fine, we'll play your silly little game. A bunch of heavy plasmas, and we're back in the black. My commander can now do three psi attacks per turn. That's always cool. Yes, it is. I am very excited to see how these guys manage themselves. We need more. We need so many more power suits, chat. We need so many. It's going to take us a month. Uh, don't have enough workshop space. We need another workshop. Screw it, let's go. 
the workshop incoming. Large. All right. Well, we can't do a large, unfortunately. Although that oh, it's a resupply mission, though. So juicy. So tempting. We need power suits with shoulder pads. The shoulder pads don't do very much. Uh, okay. Let's check here. Space available eight. We don't have a rocket launcher because we don't have enough rockets. Gotcha. We do have a... Okay, we got this guy. Let's hit him. Probably going to be more ethereals, though. I don't know if I want to fight them. They're tearing... They're tearing me apart. Just causing all kinds of trouble. Alright, shoot him down. Alright, how close is it to night? Yeah, we could probably do this. Actually, wait a minute. 36 hours till the rockets get here? Ugh, screw it, I'll just leave it. I don't feel like dealing with it. We need more avalanche missiles at AsiaCom. Fine, we'll get 20 more. Do, 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 do. Rockets have arrived. I guess now if um, we can send them out. So get the sergeant. He's wounded. And our new people aren't here yet. Hmm. Maybe we should make mine shields. I'm just, I'm hesitant to do it. All right, do we have power suits? We do have enough power suits. To suit up everybody. All right, we'll try this again. And hope that it's not ethereals. We'll just wait a minute here. General stores are done. Nah, okay, so now we have plenty of room for everything. New fighter craft, the Firestorm. This one-man fighter replicates the classic alien flying saucer design with central propulsion unit. Okay. come. Uh, new fighter transport. Yeah, let's go. We now produce the Firestorm, which we will want. All right. Make sure our craft is ready to go. It is. Wait a little bit longer. Yeah, I guess we'll get a couple of Firestorms and then we'll... Should you spoil something? Uh, no, you can spoil it. I've already beaten the game. If it's just like a, a tactical hint, just that's fine. Mine shield is a base facility to make it more difficult to find. Oh, it's not like in the new one. Okay. Well, that's lame. Let's get rid of these. A couple of those. You guys can have some of those. All right. Give you some med kit. Not that. Med kit, please. Medikit, please. Medikit? Okay. And I did not prime. Oh, no, I did prime it. Okay. All right. Let's see what we can see. If we see ethereals, we just let the tank do all the work. If we see something else, I guess we can come out. So the only way to really prevent mind control shenanigans is with either having high psionic strength on all my guys or by... Okay, there we go. There's our first friend. So let's start with our... Who's our most powerful psychic guy? This is our most powerful psychic strength guy. So we should be able to do that. You can just drop all his gear. Um, I guess we'll just come out this way. We welcome new sectoid friend. Not nobody in there. Good. All right. Nothing that way.
I think this is the only one on the map, chat. All right, who needs the kills? I mean, nobody really needs them. Just whoever gets it, right? It's fine. Uh, yeah, let's train reaction. Reaction's one of the harder ones to train for. Send these guys out here. Having high bravery also makes your guys more resistant. I don't think... Um, all it does is it reduces the amount of morale you lose, I think. So you're less likely to panic. Oh, we're not getting... Okay, we're not getting reactions there. That's fine. Just shoot him then. Alright, he's dead. That should be it. Hey, easy. Too easy. And we got some psionic abilities there, like a little bit of extra psychic skill. Let's, here, when, he, when they get back to base, we'll check on him. See where he stands on the psychic ability score chart, whatever. Uh, soldiers. Yeah, he should get a, like a plus next to that. Psy plus. He's at 38. So he's still at the beginning of his psionic journey. He has the highest. I guess you're also a Psy Plus, technically. It's because you both have 90. Avalanche missiles have arrived. That's good. Got a small one. All right, we'll shoot it down. This will probably be the last one of the night. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll go ahead and do it right now and see what kind of critters we're dealing with. UFO hit. Crash lands, all right. Just wait for day. All right, our new soldiers have arrived. Let's get them situated. We have a rifle person. Rifle. We have a scout. And we have a, another scout. Fun. Okay. Well, let's get them loaded up. Don't need three capped. Oh, no, we do need you. We don't need the other ones, though. Oh, okay. Get you out of here, too, Sergeant. And get you guys up there. There we go. A couple of rookies. We'll get them some important experience. It'll be great. Get you guys out of your power suits. And we will see how they fare against the aliens. Oh, we have to wait for the morning. We're waiting. How's the research coming along, by the way? Ooh, not very good. It also doesn't help that we're sort of stymied by the lack of workshops. Probably should have been thinking ahead on that front. I didn't know that we'd need so many pieces of armor. All right, here we go. So last mission, let's make it count. You are carrying entirely too much gear, my friend. Okay. There we go. Do this one. You guys get med kits. Perfect. Go ahead and start with a smoke grenade. And wait. Down we go, down the ramp. There is nothing. Nothing at all. Which is actually kind of a good thing because that means we have an opportunity to move some of our guys up. Also, am I I'm just noticing for some reason one of the rookies is at the back? That got screwy real fast, didn't it? That happened. Okay, then. Well, you're going to be uh, not doing much until we get you some armor. Let's advance. We are looking for any aliens of any kind. Sectoids, ethereals, you name it. I want to see them. Let's chuck this over here. And we'll get down into good stuff 
The good stuff here meaning smoke. A smoke actually is pretty good in this game compared to new XCOM. Or it's something of a minor buff. All right, well, this is not the kind of mission that I like when I don't even know where the alien is and it's not making any attempts to attack me, as far as I can tell. Guess we gotta go alien hunting. Oh no, my tank. Kinda useless over on that side. There's no way to go. Hey, there he is. Yeah, one guy with no armor for some reason. I think I, I screwed up the uh, deployment order. Okay. Where are my psychics? Let's go. Okay, nothing from you. Nothing from you. Wow, this guy is tough. Okay, I guess we're not getting mind control on him. That's fine. We'll just hit him with the conventional weapons. You do have an aim shot here. Let's take it. Okay, well, whatever. At least we didn't hit the tank. Here he comes. And he stopped. All right, let's try this again. Wow. What is this guy? We have never had an issue with... Okay, there we go. We have not had issues with sectoids before. Just walk your pretty little alien butt right over here. Let's go see if there's any more to round up. Probably not. Yeah, alright, that's it. Alright. Is that another alien? Shoot him. Should be it. Oh, nope. There's more. Okay. It's one of these ones again, huh? Fine. Oh, crap. That was close. Alright. More mind control, please. Nope. We'll get him. Don't worry, chap. Can't resist our mind control. Okay, they can. They can absolutely resist my mind control. Oh. Alright. You got two more shots here. There we go. Drop your weapons. March your little butt out here. See, the aliens are using mind control wrong. They just... They spend the turn shooting at my own guys. I'm like, no, I, I, this needs to be more long term. I need to get rid of his gear. Alright, psychic skill going up. That's what you like to see. More time units is also really good. Because it's 25 flat for each one. And we'll fix the no armor thing before we wrap it up here. Oh, I see. Okay, I see what happened. Yeah. That'll do it. I didn't move him up to the top of the order. He got promoted to sergeant already. Amazing. Alright, that's fixed. So, head off to Geoski. Save. And, uh, thanks everybody for coming out. It's been a bunch of fun. Thanks for all the, the likes and the shares and the follows. And all that awesome stuff. We are gonna see... If we can send you over to somewhere else. Yeah, have, have a great night too, Rilla. It's, it's so nice that you're always here hanging out. All right, let's raid Yugi and Bushido. He's playing XCOM Files, which is a mod, and it's pretty cool. I haven't played that particular mod, but I have played another mod like that. And I, I will see you guys again on Friday. More XCOM.